I'm sure you've been hearing that Amazon FBA is dead. It's too competitive. It's saturated and the list goes on. And a matter of fact, it actually is if you don't understand keyword research. And this is where I see a lot of new Amazon sellers and even experienced Amazon sellers make massive mistakes. And that is not understanding the importance of keyword research. And not only that, they don't understand how to actually conduct keyword research. And so what I want to do in today's video is give you guys a complete step-by-step -step tutorial on how to go about doing keyword research, verifying products, understanding how to find find the best keywords to put into your PPC campaigns, your titles, your bullet points, your descriptions, your backend search keywords. All of this we're going to cover in today's video. So I'm really excited about it. And before we dive into it, just do me a favor. It takes literally two seconds. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, drop a comment. And without further ado, let's dive into the video. What's up champs, welcome it to today's video. My name is Sean Peterson, I'm a full-time seven figure Amazon seller, and I'm really excited to give you guys a complete breakdown of keyword research. So let's dive into my screen. We're gonna be using this milestone blanket as the example, and there are three things that I want to cover in today's video. Number one, the importance of keyword research. Why does it even matter? Number two, how are we going to use keyword research to validate and verify a potential product opportunity? And number three, how are we going to find the best keywords for our title, our PPC, campaigns, description, and bullet points. So let's come over here. And the first thing that we do need to get is called the Helium 10 Cerebral Tool. You guys have heard me talk about it. It's my absolute favorite tool and I can't live without it. So I have a link down below um, with the 50% off coupon code or 10% off for life. And so right here where you're going to get the platinum plan, it's $48.50 for that first month. And you absolutely need this if you're going to sell on Amazon. If you're just kind of dabbling around and you're not really sure, just get the free plan and, and mess around with it. But if you're actually taking this thing serious and you're wanting to scale your business and actually be successful at it, you need this tool, period. Okay, so get that. And let's come over here to Amazon and let's talk about first and foremost, why it's so important. And if you know Amazon, it's a giant search engine. It's just like Google. People are going with the intent to buy. They're searching for a specific keyword. And once they search it, Amazon is going to find the best products that fit that particular keyword. So if I search iPhone 10, for example, sorry, iPhone 10 case, Amazon is going to show me iPhone 10 cases. They're not going to show me an iPhone 8 case. They're not going to show me um, an iPhone 12. They're going to show me iPhone 10 cases because that is what I'm searching specifically for. Now, there might be people running sponsored ads for iPhone 10 case, but for the most part, products that are going to come up are going to be related 100% to that specific product. And so what we're trying to do as Amazon sellers is we're trying to fit the need and find keywords that people are searching for that are in demand with low competition. And if we can plug our product in there and we show up on that first page, customers are likely to buy our product. That's what's so powerful about Amazon. And that's why keyword research is so important because if we are trying to launch a product that's not being searched, that there's no really demand for it, then it does no good. You might as well not even try to sell that product and you might as well just throw $3,000 down the drain. So that's why it's so important. The next thing that, that I wanna cover is how to actually validate products with keyword research. So we're gonna come over here and I did a complete step-by-step -step tutorial of the Chrome extension but we need it to uh, get where we want to and that's the helium 10 cerebro tool so what we're going to do is as you can see there's a big list of products so we need to find the product that is most identical to the product that we're looking to sell and so let's come over here and I'm just gonna hover over these different ASINs right here so this one it looks like it's a unisex one and maybe I'm looking to sell one that's just for girls and so this one looks like I, I guess this one is unisex as well so I want to find one that is just for girls and that's the one that I'm going to search. So right here, this is for girls. So I'm going to click on this little checkbox. And then from there, this product is most similar to the one that I'm wanting to launch and it's doing quite well. So I'm going to come over here and hit run keyword search. And basically what this is doing is it's finding all of the keywords that this particular product is ranking for. And with these different criterias and filters, I'm going to be able to know exactly what keywords they're ranking for on the first page and where they're getting the majority of their sales from. So this data right here is absolutely game changer. So right here, like I was talking about, there's a bunch of different filters that you're going to go in and change. But first thing that I want to point out is there's six over 6,000 keywords right now uh, that this product is basically ranking for. Now that doesn't mean that they're ranking on the first page for 6,000 keywords. And so what we're going to do is we want to find where they're ranking on the first page for these keywords. And that's what this organic rank is. So if we come back to Amazon, organic rank just basically means, so we're going to see these spot this sponsored product. This is 
is the first position on page one, okay? So that's organic rank number one, and then you're going to go down and all the sponsored products, that does not count. And so basically the first 20, 25, 30 positions means that they're ranking on page one and maybe at the top of page two. And so that's what we're interested in. So let's come back over here and we're gonna put the organic rank one to 25. Again, you can do one to 20, you can do one to 22, one to 30. There's no hard numbers when I'm doing this. This is just kind of how I go about it. Um, and then I'm going to hit apply and you're gonna see that this 6,000 number drops down to 725. Now that's still a lot of keywords. And so what I'm gonna do next is the minimum search volume. I'm gonna do 300 because I don't really, I mean, I, mean, I care about it. Um, and more so if this will be for my PPC is when I go a little bit lower than this, but for validating the product, I'm gonna do around 300. I'm gonna hit apply and that's the lowest search volume that will show. So it will go from 725, I'll hit apply and it'll drop down to 166. So that's pretty dang good. I mean, we went from 6,000 to 166. So that means that this product is ranking on the first page for 166 different keywords. Now that's amazing. And that's the long-term goal of what we want to do. And so that's what's so powerful about this tool is we're getting a ton of information and a ton of data of, hey, this product is doing really well. They're ranking for these keywords. And so that's what I'm gonna target and so on and so forth. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is obviously do those filters. And I'm gonna come right here and hit the search volume button. And it's going to categorize it from largest to smallest, okay? So right here, this baby blanket is being searched 79,000 times. That's not necessarily a super related keyword for this particular product. I mean, it, yes, it's a baby blanket, but it's not really like a swaddle. It's not something that you're gonna wrap your baby in. It's just mainly for pictures and for memories. And so this keyword right here is not that great. It's not super targeted, but this product is still ranking for it. And a lot of times when we're doing keyword research, people are like, oh, that's my main keyword or baby blankets for girls. That's the keyword that I wanna target. And in reality, that's not necessarily the keyword that we're after. And I'll show you if I click on this baby blanket, you'll see that there's not really many milestone blankets, if at all any. They're all baby blankets. They're not milestone blankets. And so don't get that uh, confused. Um, uh, this one, it is ranked um, on that page. Um, there's a few here, but that doesn't mean that that's the keyword that we're going to go after and target um, and basically validate our product, okay? So I'm gonna come back here. And since that doesn't really fit it, I'm gonna exit out. This one doesn't really fit it either. I'm gonna exit out. Baby milestone blanket though, that is a keyword that is 100% targeted towards our specific product. And so right here, um, we got a baby girl blanket. That one's not that great. A milestone blanket for baby girl. That's good milestone blanket, baby milestone blanket. All of these now are looking really good. And so with this information, I have a giant list of keywords that I can go in and basically look at. A few things to mention, okay? So we got the Cerebro IQ score, and basically the higher this number is, the better potential this specific keyword has. But please, and I see a lot of Amazon sellers and a lot of new Amazon sellers make this mistake, is they get caught up in these numbers and they're like, okay, average reviews needs to be this, um, search volume needs to be this, uh, IQ score, if it's high, that means it's good. And that's not necessarily what it means. This is just giving you kind of a feel of, okay, this is some algorithm and equation and it spits out a number, okay? This isn't like, has to be over 20,000 IQ score and you're going to, that product is gonna be amazing. You have to kind of have some common sense and you have to kind of piece all of these different things together. You can't just be like, oh, 21,000 uh, IQ score, 21,000 search volume, there's only a thousand competing products, boom, I'm gonna launch that product. I hate to break it, there's a little bit more and so many new Amazon sellers fall into that trap of just looking at a few numbers and they're like, oh, this is a really high number, I'm gonna launch it. And and that's not really the case, okay? But that is important to understand. We got the search volume, which is obviously super important. Another thing that's important to look at is the history of that specific keyword. So if we come to all time, we'll see that for whatever reason, it had a massive spike in 2019. Not sure why it just had a massive spike, um, but it stayed pretty consistent. And then here in January, 2020, not sure why it had a massive spike there, but for the most part, it stayed pretty stable and then had some massive spikes. In the last year, you'll see that it's just kind of gone up. So that's a good sign. Where is if it was, if we come to the all time, if this was, all these were like 10 searches and then a hundred thousand right here, like if we did fidget spinner, we'd probably see the same thing where fidget spinner was searched 5 million times in 2018 or 2017, whenever that trend was, but now it's not searched near as much. And so that's what this data is going to do is it's going to help us validate, okay, is this a seasonal product? Is this a trending or is this a fad type product? And for the most part, this has been pretty stable. Like it's had really good 
search and then random spikes, but for the most part, it's done pretty dang good since 2019, essentially. And in the last year, it's gone up. So that's another super important thing to look at is uh, the trend of the keywords. Um, another thing, speaking of the trend, is this is the trend month after month. So last month or this month, it's decreased by 2% where last month it was up. And I'm not sure if that was because it was Easter and people were give, uh, getting gifts for um, their little babies and they wanted cute pictures um, for Easter. I'm not sure why that happened, but it's only 2%. So that's not huge. If it was like 100% change and it was red, then I'd be like, uh, that's kind of a red flag. And same thing, if it was kind of like right here, plus 39%, that seems weird that all these keywords kind of went down, but this one for whatever reason went up. Um, now that's not a, a super bad sign, but if all these were like plus 150%. That's something that may mean that it's a seasonal product. It could be a trending product. It could be a fad. And so that search volume trend right here is super important to look at. Okay. And to basically verify that and vet it, we'll come right here and I'll click on this uh, search volume history. And you can see that it's just kind of gone up um, all time. It's stayed pretty consistent. So I'm not sure why. Uh, I mean, it took a dip right here, but then it's coming right back up. So I'm not sure why that has the 39% um, increase but those are things that people don't really look at. And when you're doing product research, you wanna look at every little detail. Another thing is the competing products. This is something um, important. Obviously, the more competing products, the more competition, but a lot of times they're like, oh, well, this only has 744 competing products, so that must mean it's a good keyword. Now, it could, but you still need to go right here. I'm gonna click on this. It's gonna pull it up in Amazon. It's gonna search for this keyword. And what I'm gonna do is to basically verify that and understand the competition of it. I'm gonna to pull up the, the x-ray chrome extension and this x-ray chrome extension is going to really give us a detailed analysis of how competitive this keyword actually is and the average reviews right here is 319 so it's a little competitive uh and it, it's a little too competitive for what i like i like trying to keep it under 200 average reviews and so just because the competing products was low doesn't mean that the competition isn't high and so that's where you have to double triple check go back and forth between x-ray between the competing products on cerebro and that's what it's super important to look at. And again, so many new Amazon sellers make that mistake and they just look at one specific number and they're just dead set and they just got this tunnel vision and they don't look at anything else. So that's super important. So the, the search volume, the competing products, um, I would say anything less than a thousand honestly is pretty good. But like I mentioned, pull up the search, the keyword right there into Amazon and then pull up the x-ray Chrome extension and see where's the average reviews. If it's 500, a thousand average reviews, I don't care if there's 500 competing products. That means that there's something off. Okay. So that's something to look at. Um, and for the most part, this other stuff, um, we won't dive into too much about because I'm not necessarily looking at this all that much, but this stuff you need to understand like it's the back of your hand. Okay. And another thing that I want to mention when it comes to keyword research is a lot of times you just kind of have to have some common sense. You need to have some street smarts. You need to be able to look at this and you need to ask yourself. Um, and it's actually, it's not that hard to click on the keyword. Like I was doing like this floral blanket, you need to think and and ask yourself, well, floral blanket, that doesn't necessarily match the product that I'm looking to sell. I'm selling a milestone blanket. Now, it could be a milestone floral blanket, but at the same time, you gotta ask yourself, if people are searching for floral blanket, there's no baby, it's not baby, baby floral blanket, it's just floral blanket. More than likely, they're not looking for a milestone blanket. And so that's where you need to use some common sense and be like, you know what? That keyword is probably not that good. And if you want to validate it and, and see if I'm right or not, we'll search it right here. And sure enough, these are floral blankets for decor. These are not milestone blankets. And so this is really not a good keyword. And so we're going to X that out right away. Okay. That's not a good keyword. And we don't want to be spending money trying to rank for that keyword. Maybe down the road we can, but right now that just doesn't make sense. So use some common sense. Another thing right here, um, it says personalized baby blankets for boys. We're trying to sell a milestone blanket for girls and it's not really personalized. So again, that one using common sense, that doesn't really fit our criteria. And again, if we want to verify that we can search it right here. And this doesn't really fit. These are customized, personalized with their names. And that's not what we're selling. So what we're going to do is we're going to X that out. We don't want to even target that. Again, one purple baby blanket. That's not really related either. And so you're going to go through all of these keywords out of the 166. And you're going to delete the ones that just don't make sense. So purple baby girl stuff. That doesn't really make sense. Memory blanket. Um, I, that that might have. I mean, it was a memory blanket. Um, I, I could have verified that a little bit better. Large baby blanket. No. Um, and so let's say I did all of that. And this is where it leads to the title, description, the bullet points, and all of that good stuff in PPC. So we understand that we verified the product.
product, we have some really good keywords. My rule of thumb is if I can have like 10 plus good solid keywords that are being searched a couple thousand times each keyword, that is a lot of searches. And in this case, there's 10 keywords that are being searched uh, more than two, three, five, six thousand times. And then there's one that's being searched 21,000 times. So that means that there's a lot of demand for this particular product. But obviously we need to understand the competition, which I already just kind of touched on with the competing products and the average reviews. But let's say hypothetically, perfect case scenario, this product we're going to launch, everything checks off the list of the competition, the demand, um, our profit margins. We found a good supplier. Now it's time to create the listing, time to create uh, the PPC campaigns. And what we're going to do is we're going to do exactly what we did to validate the product. And so right here, we have a list of products that this product right here is ranking for. And so we're just going to copy all of these products and we're going to plug them into PPC and try to just pack them in our title, description, and bullet points. And how we're gonna do that is if you have the platinum plan, you can do this super easily. You're gonna come over here um, to export and you're going to copy it to what's called Frankenstein. And this is where you're going to have the list of all the different keywords. Again, like baby milk bath photos, I'm gonna delete those. We already went through and deleted those, but let's say all of these are good. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to create manual PPC campaigns targeting all of these different keywords. Then I'm also, when it comes to creating my listing, I wanna come right here to scribbles and this is going to help me craft the perfect listing. I'm gonna add the phrases here. This is a lot of them. So we might not be able to get all of them. Let's say, let's try to get like the, maybe just like the top um, 10 or maybe top 15. <laughs> I'll delete those, I'll hit apply. And basically what you're gonna do right here is when you start typing in the, the title, it basically checks it off. Milestone baby blanket for baby girl. And so it shows, okay, we got this keyword, we got this, um, the phrases, we got baby milestone blanket, milestone blanket for baby girl, milestone blanket, um, monthly milestone blanket. So then maybe we can do a monthly milestone blanket. And then that checks that off. And that's what you're going to do with the title. That's what you're going to do with the bullet points. And then right here, the description as well. And you're going to make sure to cover all of those keywords. And if you can't fit them in the bullet points and in the title and in the description, then what you're going to do is you're going to put them in the back end search keywords. So when you go to your Amazon seller account, once you created the listing. All right. So I just pulled up the keywords to make it a little bit easier for you guys to see. So the keywords that don't fit in the title description, the bullet points, you're going to put in the back end keyword uh, search terms. So you're going to go to your product. You're going to go to advanced view, click on this keywords button, search terms. You're going to just jam pack all of the search terms in there. Um, don't repeat any keywords. And then the subject matter, the same thing. You're going to hit add more, add more, add more. And you're going to jam pack all of those full of all the keywords that you weren't able to fit in the title description and bullet points. So that is so important to do to optimize your title, your listings, your bullet points, all of that. And that tool that I just showed you is super cool and it makes it super easy and it just lets you know, okay, I got this keyword. I got this one. How can I add this keyword? And you just kind of get creative with it. Okay. So that's how you're going to leverage Helium 10 Cerebro to not only validate products, but also help you find the perfect keywords to then plug into your listing and your PPC campaigns. So I hope you guys understood everything. I know that was a lot. This video uh, was a little bit long, but tons of value. And I hope that you guys understand the importance of not just looking at one metric, not just looking at one keyword, not just looking at one x-ray Chrome extension and saying, oh, this is a good product. There's a lot more when it comes to product research and validating and verifying and making sure that the product that you're going to launch is going to be a success. So if you guys have more questions, you want more help from me directly, I have a complete mentorship program from A to Z. Go to amzchampions.com, enroll. I'd love to, to have you in as a student. We have weekly live calls where I actually do a lot of these things live. You can ask me questions and it's an amazing way to really learn and understand the, the entire process. Another thing that you need to understand is Amazon doesn't just happen overnight. It's not something that you're just gonna learn and boom, all of a sudden you're making a bunch of money. It's a learning curve. It takes time and the more that you do it, the more comfortable you're going to get. So um, take all of that advice. Now take action on it. Get Helium 10, rewatch this video, understand how to actually use these tools. Um, go back, watch that x-ray chrome extension tutorial where i break down step by step how to use that and it's going to go perfectly hand in hand with this video and if you can use the x-ray chrome extension helium 10 cerebro and understand how to use it you're going to set yourself up for success when it comes to selling on amazon so i just want to say thank you guys for watching i appreciate all the support if you guys enjoyed like the video subscribe to the channel drop a comment and we'll see you guys in the next video